So there's a lot of little stuff that I've had, just haven't really took the time to put it on, like fuel lines, fuel pump. I have the front brakes over here. I have new rotors, but we have new calipers and all that. Just haven't had time to put them on yet. So I think I'm gonna take this video and kind of knock some of that stuff out. And I think we're gonna start with the fuel tank here. Now this is actually just the mechanical fuel tank. I didn't buy the EFI one. I think really the only difference is the hanger itself. But after looking at the price, um, me being who I am was like, hey, I could buy a pump and modify the hanger myself and probably do it cheaper and save a few hundred dollars than buying the EFI one. We'll see if that was a good decision or not. Um, we'll find out. So then we're gonna start by pulling the hanger out and seeing what we have to do to that in order to make it an EFI one. All right, first ob first, ob blah, blah, blah. first observations is obviously this is not the FI kit, so you just have a tube going down where a mechanical pump is gonna suck the fuel out. Whereas with the EFI kit, you have to have the pump inside the tank, so obviously there's no place, no place to mount, and there's no place for the hires to go through. The wires to go through so this is where this comes in drill a hole the wires fit through here seal it i've used these before they work pretty good so drill hole wires go through there and then next we need to figure out how we're going to build the hanger but before that we need to figure out how deep this needs to be so i think what i'll do is get some zip ties zip tied onto this so it can slide push into the tank and wherever this the the pump will bottom out and then that'll give me the length that I need to build everything. All right, here's my depth. Whoa, here's my depth. Zip ties. Should be able to set this in here and let it slide. Hopefully. All right. Push. Okay. So now that should give me my depth that I need. I'll measure that and then I'll build my hanger to that length. Well, kind of realized it makes sense. Obviously this tube on here is going to go to the bottom of the tank because if the mechanical is sucking up fuel here you're wanting it to go to the bottom of the tank so i guess i just need to make my hanger so the bottom of the tank is even with the bottom of this now you don't want to make it too you don't want to make it too long because you don't want this to just be sitting completely on the bottom you want it to just barely not touch the bottom so we will be raising this a hair very twisted like that. There we go. So we make it like that so that the filter is barely shorter than that. That should be the right length that we need right there. So a little update of where I am at. So I cut off the tube to the original hanger. I'm going to actually be using this as the hanger. So I made a little bracket for, this is the for the bottom of the fuel pump here. So I just kind of shaped in so that will fit in there. And then this tube will weld onto this part here. Then I'll cut off the excess out obviously, but onto there Then I'll weld the other to the bottom of the hanger. Then I have a barb fitting coming that I'll weld to here that the pump will plumb straight into. So that way we will have a hanger that supports the pump as well as a new fitting for the barb. Then I'll be running, then I'll just run a dash six here that goes to the regulator and up to the engine. So that is the game plan. We will see how it goes. All right, this is where I'm at. Have the actual hanger part made. Fuel pump sits in. 
something, something like that. Just need to weld this to the base. And then once my barb comes in, I can weld it to there and we will have a fuel hanger. So yeah, things are going pretty good. Well, I think I'm kind of out of a standstill at this point. Got the got the wire grommeted in there, but I can't put the but I can't slide the wires in until I'm installing that, and can't put this on until we have the barb. So I think for the hanger we are a little stuck. So I think we will turn our time over to the actual truck where we can do the regulator and fuel lines and all that. Well, I was just rummaging around looking for fittings for the fuel tank and everything. And I found this little 3 8 barb, aluminum, which is perfect. So instead of waiting for the one I ordered to get here tomorrow, I think I can just weld this on right now. So sometimes things just work out. All right, got it all welded on. This thing is Burn was done, I think, so I think I could throw the pump on and install it back into the fuel cell. All right, hanger is done. Wired up. Then I will wire it to the ECU when that time comes, but uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about this. Probably saved a couple hundred dollars doing this. Which in the big scheme of things, probably not that much, but... Hey, I'm always down, down to save some money. Should fit right into there. Like so. So let's get that screwed in and we can start plumbing hoses. All right, hanger is back in. Have my fittings on. And then I also installed the regulator right here. And I think I have the fittings on correctly. These are all AN conversion lines, so uh, we got those there. And then the kit also came with fitting that goes on the actual fuel rail. So now it's just a matter of running the hoses. I got this kit from Hot Rod Fuel Hose. Supposedly supposed to fit the truck, so hopefully there's enough line. Looks like there is. But uh, and I'll have to look up how to do uh, the PTFE fittings. I haven't done these before, so we'll see what we got to do there. Well, I have all the lines made up pretty much for the fuel system. Uh, I actually broke a fitting while I was trying to figure out how to do these PTFE. Um, so I am short one there. I need to order a new one, but other than that, everything's done. Coming from the engine. Then it goes down underneath all the way back. So that's pretty much done. I'll order that fitting, finish that up. Now I think let's move on to the brakes up here. I'm just trying to knock out all these parts that I've had laying around just to get them from cluttering up the shop a little less. So these are the front brakes. Just the, I already have rotors on there. So there's just the calipers and pads and then the, um, soft line that goes to the hard line here. So let's knock those out and see how those go on. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to put this on. Well, that was all pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's knock the other side out and we can move on to probably wiring.
the right driver side front brakes on brake line hooked up i need to get a new clip for that but i'll have to order that so those are done well it feels good to get things knocked out these are just parts that have been sitting around so it's nice to just get them on the truck that way it kind of de declutters things as well and as well as make progress on the truck so those are double wins now i think this mess is next i at least want to start getting it kind of strung through the truck to see how things are going to be um, but before that i need to decide where i want to drill a hole probably somewhere in here because this is where the fuse block fuse blocks going to mount so if we just go straight out here and that will go into the engine bay here then i can route wires here I just am not 100% sure for wires that are going to the back of the truck. If I want to come up here and go down and around or what. So that's just something I am going to have to figure out. All right, tag. Someone else is it. Someone else can do it. <laughs> oh, why is wiring so overwhelming? It's just one of those things that you can just stare at it forever thinking of how to do it and sometimes you just got to do start somewhere and just work at it because i've literally been looking at this for 20 minutes thinking what to do but i just think i need to drill drill a hole and start feeding wires places because man wiring is overwhelming especially when you look down and it's just all of this and you don't even know where to start so yeah, like I said, it's just one of those things. You just start. It doesn't matter where. And I'm going to start by drilling a hole and just start feeding wires to places that I think they will go. All right, there I did. Drill the hole. Point of return. Guess let's just start feeding wires. Well, this has been fun, kind of figuring out wire routing. All this is, I think, pretty much cab stuff. And we have the rear, rear lights and harness, and then the front engine alternator stuff. So it's a start. Lots to do, but at least I have a direction that I'm going instead of just sitting here staring at things. So. I do need to take off some zip ties here and just re reroute and re-zip tie things just to kind of clean it up. And then we can start, I guess, routing wires individually. Well, I finally got everything kind of routed where I think it needs to go. Um, I'm sure this is going to change because there's a lot of wires and a lot going on, but for the most part, I think I have a general idea of what needs to happen. It's kind of a mess right now and a little overwhelming, but uh, it's just something that I need to just start on and tackle. So I'm just gonna have to dive right in, but that's gonna wait for the next video. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.